Hi, this is Bob Savar from Pickleball Teachers Network, and I'm here with Hella Spar. We're at the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships in Naples, Florida. I'm meeting Hella for the first time. Hella, where do you uh, teach out? I teach out of um, Mesa, Arizona. Mesa. It's called Leisure World. Leisure World. Leisure World. Must yes. be a lot of old people like me. Yeah, and me. <laughs> yeah. Fifty-five and over. Okay, I'm in my seventies. So, <laughs> how long have you been playing uh, pickleball? I think I started in late 2015 or 2016. Okay, like about that. two and a half, three years yeah, or so? Yeah. Okay. Were you a tennis player? Or? Yes, I come okay. from tennis. You come, did you teach tennis or just... Uh, Both. I played professionally in the 70s. Okay. And then I uh, started teaching shortly thereafter. I've been teaching all my life. And then I wrote a book oh, called Dynamite Doubles. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I saw that. That's yeah. right. And I guess that's about strategy? All and strategy. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> we all need to learn, well, we're all at my age, I'm a doubles player. Yeah. And I think that's the weakest part. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah. Have you played in, uh, in the Naples morning before? Yeah, I played the uh, last two years. Okay. And I uh, played, uh, this is my third year, so last year I got a um, bronze medal in the senior women's doubles and a bronze medal in the the year before in the mixed, and then okay. I won the age in the 60s, nice. so in mixed nice. and men and women's doubles, but the pro is what, what seems to count more, so yeah. I want to see if I can get past the bronze. Okay, when do you play? Tomorrow. What time? Uh, I don't know. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, okay. But hopefully all I'll, day. I'll be here. Okay. I'll, I'll get a chance to watch it. All right. Um, do you teach mostly clinics or private lessons? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Depends what people want. You know, if the two people want to work on their their double strategy together, I sometimes take the two of them and they and we work on movement together, okay. and they just play against me. So in a way, they play two against one, and I'm a lot about playing two against one, isolating a, an opponent. So okay. we have a plan from the start. Okay. Well, yeah. most, most of them three point zero, three point five. Any and any level. I actually teach a lot of four five five zeros oh, who do? are at a point where it's a little extra strategy that might might get them over the edge. And also the mental part, uh, okay. I kind of touch on that too. I guess that's really important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been told. Um, somebody like myself, who uh, I took a clinic this morning with uh, Joey Farias. Uh -huh. He said I was a 4.0. I always thought of myself as a 3.5. But what kind of advice would you give somebody like myself who's just trying to you know, I'm playing older players, I'm, let's say I'm a 4.0, yeah. but I want to get it up to stand. So, usually it's play smarter, Smart. more patience, don't change direction unless you can really validate or give a good reason why you change direction. Okay, in other words, it's greater cross or? No, where it came from. Where change came direction from. means notice okay. where it comes from and okay. a lot of times if it comes from cross court you get back cross court if it comes from straight ahead don't be the first one to change direction and think good things start to happen and another okay. thing is where your winners go but that would be section session two section two <laughs> i'm not no. ready for section no. two but it's like i have a certain place i hit my winners and it's usually not where the first choice was so i okay. i practice that and i practice so i don't always have go by the most predictable shot. So that's the mental part. Okay. Yeah, just kind of having one or two, three options for every shot right. you want to hit, and one is easier and three is more difficult, so depending on the score and how you're playing that day, go with higher percentage shot or lower percentage shot, so you can kind of gauge that within yourself. So if I'm on a bad streak, I don't go for the lowest percentage, right. I try to play the highest, okay. but if you don't know the percentages to begin with, right. you're, all, you're in trouble. So it's a lot of practice in trying to figure out yeah. that. So I practice half court a lot and I teach okay. that stay cross court or stay straight ahead so right. your mind gets trained to um, discipline. It's a lot about discipline because we want to pull the trigger too soon. Right. It's very it's interesting because we've been playing a lot of what we call skinny singles. Yeah. You know, cross court or and it really does force you to focus. Yeah. And, I call ready. that shadow doubles. Shadow doubles. So if you mention singles, you get half the people checking out. Right. I play doubles only. Right. So they're not going to do that. But right. if it's shadow doubles, and it's actually something very, very helpful that's going to be beneficial for your doubles game, they're more open to it. So okay. I, I definitely, I call, I call it shadow doubles. We did okay. that from tennis. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So I see you wearing Selkirk and yeah. you have a Selkirk paddle. Tell us a little bit Well, this is the new it. US Open version that they just came out with. Uh, um, it's kind of, what is it called? The black, regal, black, or it, it's it's just so incredible. The, the amp. Well, this is the amp, but the amp, color right. coordination. Oh. It's the same paddle as I had before, the Tyson okay, McGuffin. But, the, uh, but the, the skin is a little different maybe, but um, I, I, I love this. This is called the Invicta. So it okay. has a little longer paddle. It yeah. has a longer handle for people who okay. like that. I happen to be up here now, but I use this extra piece to reach for dinks that I can't reach. So if you have a loose enough grip, your paddle can actually extend. And for okay. overheads, you can. So if you have a, a way of moving it around, you, it, it definitely gives you a, a bigger hitting surface. Is this called an elongated paddle? Or it's yeah, not quite yeah, it is. Good. I mean, it's long, but yeah. it still also has the wider. Right. Uh, but it has a super good pop to it. And I think it's good looking, so I'm yeah, uh, very exactly. excited about that. I, I saw Paddle the other, uh, I guess, Joey Farris was in. He has a different uh -huh. sponsor, but it had no lip to it. No, no, no guard? Yeah, yeah, no guard. I know, some of them do that. I don't know. I've been told pro and... Yeah. yeah, so this happens to be with a guard, and I, I go with that. Okay. Yeah. Do me a favor, tell everybody where they can find you, get in touch with you. Yeah, so uh, my name is Hillisfar, and that's also my Gmail address. So the email okay. is really good, Hillisfar at Gmail. It's H E L E. No, L -E. it's two L's. Okay. H E L L E, and then S P A R R E. Okay. Hillisfar at Gmail. I also have a website called dynamitedoubles.com, and um, I have tennis and pickleball there. It's shifting drastically or over to more pickleball and I do a lot of clinics with I go out to facilities if you want to have me two or three days I, I have kind of a little package deal that I uh, propose and it's very good student to teacher ratio so I never take more than eight and it's always affordable so um, we all kind of have a win-win situation I'm not quite retired yet so I have to make some money but I don't completely uh, Strip everybody, yeah, and then I do privates if you want to do privates and uh, singles, but mostly doubles. And the dynamite doubles book for pickleball is about to uh, be finished, hopefully this year, uh, because I've had too many requests and I got to do it. So okay. thanks for all you guys asking me because you're pushing me to do it. Okay. So it's yeah, it's fun, and uh, I have um, yeah, my, my phone number. I, I mean, if you get onto my website, all my information is there, and email me, I'll I'll answer you right back. Okay, great. It was great to meet you. Thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck in the tournament. And you too. And, and thank you. I hope this, I'm not playing this one. Maybe we'll I'll play, be back. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get, get a chance to yeah. spar a little bit. That's, well, that's a good one. Okay. Thanks very thank much. Thank you so much. Take care.